and Sister Mama Beer here. Would you uh, give him a hand as he comes and uh, share the Lord of God with us? Thank you very much. I say thanks, thanks, thanks. I join with you to give God thanks. I say thanks for your pastor this morning, who has been so helpful and has been so uh, willing to come and get me all the way from where I was this morning. I appreciate that. I say thanks to all of you this morning for being here in God's arms. Uh, I want you to give God a high note of praise. Happy yeah. yeah. All you people. Yes, I'm, really I'm delighted to be here. I'm very much touched with uh, the orderliness and uh, efficiency and professional way that the service went so far. Everything seems to be just in order. And I want to say to you this morning, today is Thanksgiving Day. Amen. But I believe every day should be Thanksgiving Day. Yes. Can you imagine when the pilgrims came and they set aside this day and they give God thanks? They hadn't so much. Like we have today, Bishop Ryan. But they were thankful for what little Amen. they had. Even how much more should we at this point of time in this century looking at God's goodness and his blessings give God thanks. You know we're living in a time when people forget so easily the goodness of God. And some people ascribe the goodness of God to all kinds of things. And instead of giving God thanks, but they forget God. And they do not give God what belongs to Him. I want to share with you from Psalm 100 this morning. If you have your Bibles? Yes. It says, make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with sin. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pastor. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. I want to ask my wife to come this morning and pray and then I'll go into God's word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you, O oh God, for your word. We pray, Father, that you touch a man's servant, God. Use him in a special way, O oh God, and let your word go forth with a power and anointing. Lord, you bless us by your word and encourage your people, O oh God. And as they reach out to you in faith, that God, they will be strengthened, they will be healed, and they will be touched. We give you glory and praise for all that you will be that all that you will do, in Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you very much. Now you will agree with me, brethren, that Thanksgiving is a time when we acknowledge and recognize God's goodness and blessings towards us, and we join in appreciation and gratitude for all He has done. It is a celebration and expression of his love and grace and a declaration of his goodness. The word of God admonishes us to give thanks. In Psalm 106, 1, it says, Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. 
Psalm 107, 1 says the same thing. God commands us to give thanks. It is a will of God to give thanks. Thessalonians 5, 18. And I believe with all my heart that we have so many things we can give God thanks for. Yeah. Now the portion of scripture I read clearly declares if you look at verse 3, it says, Knowing that the Lord, He is God. I believe, brethren, that one of the reasons we should give God thanks of be is because of who He is. Amen. The psalmist says, For He is God. As God, he is the creator. He is the one that created the heavens and the earth. He is the one that created the first man. As God the creator, he puts everything in place. And sometimes we are carried away instead of giving God thanks for who he is. We give him thanks only for what he has given to us. And so we caught up with all kind of stuff. And if God don't give us something that is real worthy and real expensive, we don't remember to give him thanks. But I say this morning, church, the son says, know that he is God. And as God, he created all the good things that we enjoy. As God, he brought the first man into being. And the Bible says he breathed into his nostrils and he became a living soul. I said to you this morning, we should be so thankful and so grateful to God for the very breath that is in our body. Amen. And that's why every morning we get up. Yes. The Bible says let everything that had breath Praise, the, Praise the Lord. We should go fall on our face and say, Thank you, Lord, for this another new day, for the very breath that I can breathe. Amen. We give Him thanks not only because He's the Creator, we give Him thanks because He is our Father. Amen. I tell you this, brethren, this goes a far away. It is more than just having God to be the Creator. God is our Father. We have so many ungrateful children today who forget where their parents brought them from. Who forget, Brother Robert, the sacrifice that the parents make to bring them up. And when they grow up, they just forget them. What a sad state. We've got parents today grieving in old folks' home because their children, not because they're in the home, that's the right place they should be. But because their children is ungrateful right. and they have forgotten them and they have forgotten all that they have done. Amen. Thank God this morning. He is not a tyrant. He is not a dictator. Other people's God they are afraid of. Some people God requires that they offer sacrifices. And some people sacrifice their children to their God. But thank God that our God is our Father. Amen. Yes. That's good enough yes, for yeah. God's children mm -hmm. to give Him thanks. Our God, for who He is, He is God the Creator. He is God our Father. He is God our Savior. Our God sent His Son, Jesus, to be our Savior. Mm -hmm. said, though He was equal with God, He made Himself of no reputation. Mm -hmm. And what He did, He taught it not robbery. He was obedient to His Father. And He came down and out. And the Bible says He gave His life. He shed His blood. Yes. All because. Amen. He is our Savior. Too many people is God. They can be counted to be their Savior. Hear me. They are an object. Some people's God are too small. Some people's God is just a thought. 
Some people's God is just a song. Some people's God is just a feeling. Some people's God is a theological subject. Some people's God is a religious object. I can go on and on. But that is still too small. Our God. Amen. Is our Savior. Listen to me church. Lots of people worship many gods. But sad to say. Not many times they can give thanks. Because they can do nothing for them. But our God. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Sent his son into this world. Amen. To save us and redeem us. From our sins. We give him thanks because he's God. Because he's God the creator. Because he's God our father. Because he's God our savior. Amen. And if I should ask you this morning. If there is one thing. You should write down and give God thanks for what will you see. Some people will tell me a brand new car. And some people will tell me a brand new house. Some people will tell me some other thing. But I say to you this morning. The greatest of all the things that we can give God thanks for. Is not a house or a piece of land or a helicopter. Or some expensive uh, car. No, that's good. But I believe this morning that the greatest thing we can thank God for is His Son, Jesus. Amen. For Amen. eternal life. Amen. I say to myself, if God has just given us a car, we would need another car. Yes. Right? If God has given us a good house, some people change their house very often. Amen. We would need another more expensive one. <laughs> oh, we like to compete. We like to compare. We like to complain. And we like to covet. <laughs> Church, listen to this. God blesses us with something, but we are not satisfied. Yes. We look at the other person. We compete. We compare. We complain. And we want to covet. I was reading the Daily Bread, and it says, if you read it, it said, somebody got up, and they said, what a beautiful day today. Yes. And somebody says, but, the bad days are still ahead. <laughs> Brethren, I feel like that. Enjoy the day, Mr. Yes, Lord, yes. We know it's going to be more cold. Yes. We know the snow is coming. Uh, we know it's going to be more, yeah, but heavenly church. Enjoy what the Lord yes. has yes. given us. Yes. Yes. Oh, I tell you this. We need a thankful heart. Yes. But yes. we need contentment. Amen. Amen. Contentment is not possessing everything. But give thanks Amen. for everything you possess. Amen. I repeat. Contentment is not possessing everything. But give thanks for everything yes. you possess. And so we are grateful to God. Amen. Out of all the things God has blessed us with. God has blessed us with the greatest. Of all the blessings we can enjoy. And that the blessing of eternal life. Yes. To his son Jesus. Because this blessing will not only last long here. But we will benefit throughout all eternity. Our God is a God who answers prayer. Amen. Some people's God have ears, have mouth, have nose and cancer. Can't speak. But I'll tell you, our God is a God who hears Amen. and answers prayer. You can give God thanks for this many times. Yes. The other day, my wife, we prayed the day before. 